Huawei's 4NM chip a major victory over the US. Hey everyone, Revo now here. Today we're diving into some seriously exciting tech news. Remember when Huawei got hit with those US sanctions? They were blocked from using advanced chips putting a damper on their smartphone game. Well, guess what? Huawei is back with a bang, releasing a brand new smartphone powered by a cutting-edge 4 nanometer processor. This isn't just any chip, it's a symbol of Huawei's resilience and a major shakeup in the tech world. It looks like those restrictions might not be holding Huawei back after all. This is huge news, guys, and I'm pumped to break it down for you. So buckle up as we explore the ins and outs of Huawei's triumphant return and what it means for the future of tech. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Let's go. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. You're probably wondering how did Huawei manage to pull this off with all those restrictions in place? It's a fair question. The US government blacklisted Huawei from accessing key technologies including advanced chips manufactured using us equipment. This move was designed to cripple Huawei's ability to produce high-end smartphones. Here's the kicker. Huawei found a way around it. Partnered with a Chinese semiconductor manufacturer called Smike, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. While SMIC might not be as advanced as some other chip makers, they've been making serious strides in chip fabrication technology. Together, Huawei and SMIC managed to develop a 4 nanometer chip entirely without US technology. This is a huge win for China's domestic chip industry and a clear sign that Huawei isn't backing down from a challenge. Okay, let's geek out over the specs for a minute. This new 4 nanometer chip reportedly called the Corin 9000S is a beast. While we don't have all the nitty-gritty details yet, early benchmarks suggest it's a worthy competitor to the likes of Qualcomm's Snapdragon and Apple's A series chips. We're talking blazing fast processing speeds, impressive power efficiency, and enough graphical horsepower to handle the most demanding mobile games. Early reviews are already praising the phone's performance, with many saying it's on par with or even surpasses other flagship devices in the market. This chip isn't just about raw power, though. It's a testament to Huawei's commitment to innovation and their ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Let's take a moment to appreciate the other hero in this story, SMIC. This company, which stands for Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, has been quietly but steadily making waves in the semiconductor industry. This Chinese chipmaker has been working tirelessly to catch up with industry giants like TSMC and Samsung. Their journey has been nothing short of remarkable, filled with challenges and breakthroughs. From the early days of struggling to secure advanced technology to now being a formidable competitor, SMIC's story is one of resilience and innovation. The US restrictions on Huawei, while undoubtedly challenging, may have inadvertently lit a fire under Smike, pushing them to innovate and advance their chip-making capabilities at an unprecedented pace. These restrictions intended to curb Huawei's growth have instead acted as a catalyst for Smike, driving them to explore new technologies and processes. Think of it like a local sports team suddenly thrust into the championship game. The odds may be against them, but the opportunity to prove themselves on a grand stage is too significant to pass up. This is the kind of pressure that can either make or break a team. The pressure is on, but it also forces them to perform at their absolute best. Every move, every decision is critical. The same goes for SMIC. The global spotlight is on them, and they are rising to the occasion, showing the world what they are capable of. That's what's happening with SMIC right now. They are not just surviving under pressure, they are thriving. Their factories are buzzing with activity, their engineers are pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and their innovations are setting new standards in the industry. They're stepping up to the plate and proving that they can compete with the best in the world. Each successful test, each new chip design is a testament to their hard work and dedication. The sense of achievement among their team is palpable, and it's driving them to aim even higher. This partnership with Huawei is a game-changer for Smike, giving them the recognition and experience they need to become a major player in the uh, 
global semiconductor market. It's not just about business, it's about building a legacy. Together, they are poised to reshape the landscape of the semiconductor industry one chip at a time. Implications for the US, a tech cold war? Huawei's comeback with a domestically produced 4NM chip has sent ripples through the tech world, particularly in the US. This development is not just a technical achievement, it symbolizes China's growing self-reliance in the tech sector. For years, the US has imposed trade restrictions and sanctions aimed at curbing China's technological advancements. However, Huawei's breakthrough suggests that these measures might not be as effective as initially hoped. Some experts see this as a sign that the US strategy of using trade restrictions to stifle China's technological rise might not be as effective as initially hoped. The US has long been a leader in technology, but China's rapid advancements are challenging the dominance. This situation is reminiscent of the Cold War, where the US and the Soviet Union were locked in a battle for technological supremacy. However, this new tech Cold War is not about nuclear weapons or space exploration, it's about semiconductors, artificial intelligence and 5G networks. Remember those old Cold War era movies where the US and the Soviet Union were locked in a battle for technological supremacy? The stakes were incredibly high and the competition was fierce. Today we're seeing echoes of that era, but the battlefield has shifted. Instead of nuclear arms and space races, the focus is now on cutting-edge technologies that will shape the future. We're seeing echoes of that today, but instead of nuclear weapons, it's all about semiconductors, artificial intelligence, and 5G networks. These technologies are the new frontiers of innovation, and whoever leads in these areas will have a significant advantage in the global arena. The US and China are both investing heavily in these technologies, and the competition is heating up. This situation raises some serious questions. How will the US respond to China's growing technological prowess? Will the US double down on its current strategy of trade restrictions and sanctions, or will it seek new ways to compete? The answers to these questions will have far-reaching implications for the global tech industry. Will we see an escalation of trade tensions or will cooler heads prevail? The stakes are incredibly high and the decisions made in the coming years will shape the future of technology and global power dynamics. Both countries have a lot to gain but also a lot to lose and the path forward is anything but clear. One thing's for sure, the global tech landscape is changing rapidly and the US needs to adapt if it wants to stay ahead of the game. Innovation is the key to maintaining a competitive edge and the US must continue to invest in research and development. Collaboration with allies fostering a robust tech ecosystem and staying ahead of emerging trends will be crucial. The race is on and the outcome will shape the future of technology for decades to come. The global chip race. Who will lead the pack? Huawei's breakthrough isn't just about the US and China. It has implications for the entire global semiconductor industry. This development is a game-changer, potentially altering the balance of power in the tech world. The semiconductor industry is the backbone of modern technology and any significant advancement can ripple through various sectors, from consumer electronics to automotive and even healthcare. We're witnessing a fascinating race for chip dominance with countries and companies vying for a piece of the pie. This race isn't just about technological superiority, it's also about economic and geopolitical influence. Nations are investing heavily in research and development, building state-of-the-art facilities and forming strategic alliances to ensure they don't fall behind. Think of it like the space race back in the day, but instead of trying to reach the moon, the goal is to create the most advanced, most powerful chips on the planet. Just as the space race spurred incredible advancements in science and technology, the chip race is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in computing and electronics. The stakes are incredibly high and the competition is fierce. This competition is driving innovation at an unprecedented pace, leading to faster, more efficient and more capable devices. For everyone. From smartphones that can process data at lightning speed, to smart cities that rely on interconnected devices, the advancements in chip technology are transforming our daily lives. The benefits of this race extend beyond just consumer gadgets. They also include advancements in artificial intelligence, machine learning and even quantum computing. The winners in this race will be those who can master the art of chip fabrication, secure vital resources and foster a strong ecosystem of researchers, engineers and manufacturers. It's not just about having the best.
technology, it's also about having the best talent and the most efficient supply chains. Collaboration and innovation are key, and those who can bring together the brightest minds and the most advanced technologies will lead the pack. It's a high-stakes game with no clear winner yet, but one thing is certain, the future of technology is being shaped by the outcome of this global chip race. The implications are vast, affecting everything from national security to global trade. As we look to the future, the leaders of this race will not only dominate the tech industry, but will also have a significant impact on the global economy and the way we live our lives. The race is on and the world is watching closely to see who will emerge as the leader of the pack. What's next for Huawei Innovation Unbound? So what does the future hold for Huawei? With this new chip under their belt, they're back in the smartphone game, but they're not stopping there. Huawei has always been known for its innovative spirit, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with smartphones, telecommunications equipment, and other cutting-edge technologies. Imagine a world where your smartphone can seamlessly connect to your home appliances, your car, and even your city's infrastructure. Huawei is at the forefront of making this vision a reality with its investments in 5G, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. This new chip is just one piece of the puzzle. It's a sign that Huawei is here to stay and they're ready to compete on a global stage with their own homegrown technology. Your thoughts matter. Join the conversation. All right, everyone, that's the rundown on Huawei's incredible 4 nanometer chip and what it means for the tech world. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on all of this. Do you think Huawei's comeback is a good thing for competition in the smartphone market? What are your predictions for the future of the global chip race? Hit that comment section below and let's get a discussion going. And hey, while you're at it, let me know what other tech topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Your suggestions are always welcome. Until next time, stay curious and keep on teching. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.